Hey guys, and welcome back for some more learning today. I am so excited to keep talking with you guys about some of our rules and why we have them. You guys showed me last week that you really know what rules are and what kind of rules we should be following while we are at school or even on our virtual learning time. So today, I just want to talk a little bit about what are rules. Rules are things that parents, adults, or teachers, or even kids say that need to be followed by everyone else. If a teacher says, please sit on the carpet nicely or with carpet procedure, that is a rule. Clean up all of your supplies when you're done with them. That is a classroom rule. Some rules that you might have at home are listening to your parents or not running inside your house and not throwing toys. Can you guys think of some rules that you have and follow at home? I want to hear them when we meet for our live Zoom meeting today. Now you might be thinking, Ms. Truman, why do we even have rules? And I know last week of you guys were able to tell me why you thought we have rules. And let me tell you what, you got it right. We have rules to keep us safe. We have rules to keep our bodies safe, our hearts safe, and our classroom safe. So that is why we have rules. So as I just mentioned, we have rules that we follow at home, and we have rules that we follow at school. And some of those rules might be the same, like cleaning up your toys, listening to the adult in charge. Those are all rules that we have at school, or at home, and at school. So it's not gonna be too hard to learn our rules because I don't think your parents let you hurt each other at home. I don't think your parents just let you throw toys and be crazy at home. So learning our school rules is gonna be kind of easy for you because I know that you all follow rules at your houses. So today we are actually going to listen to a story called No David. And we are gonna see some examples of David not quite following the rules. And we'll stop and talk about that as we're listening to our story. So let's get started listening to our, our story, No David. Hello everyone. Today's story is going to be No David, written by David Shannon. David's mom always said, No David. So that rule right there, David's coloring on the wall. Are you allowed to color on the walls at your house? No way. And you definitely can't color on the walls at school either. So, no coloring on the walls at home and no coloring on the walls at school. Let's keep listening. No, David. Ooh, climbing on furniture. We can't climb on top of furniture at our houses. Do your moms or dads let you climb on top of the fridge or stack chairs? No, because you could hurt your body. So no climbing on furniture at home and no climbing on furniture at school. Let's keep listening. No, David, no. Ooh, getting messy. It's all right to get a little messy. No, no, Ooh, no. Overflowing the bathtub. Come back here, David. <gasps> no way. We talked about this last week. You can't be naked at school. You might be able to be naked in your house, and that is up to your moms and dads. But we definitely want you in clothes for school. David, be quiet. Don't play with your food. That's 
Lucky Luck, David. Go to your room. Has any one of you guys gotten in trouble because you weren't following a rule at home and you had to go to your room? Ah, uh, it's no fun. You won't have to go to your room in our classroom, but you might have to take a little break and calm your body and your brain down if you're not following our rules in the classroom. Settle down! Stop that this instant. Ooh, germs, germs, germs. Put your toys away. You have to clean up at home and school. Not in the house, David. No way. We could break something. We definitely don't throw or hit balls at home or school. I said no, David. Say we can break something. Davy, come here. Yes, David, I love you. Okay, guys, and that was the story of No David. So that was our No David story, and you saw that David had a little bit of trouble in our story following rules. But that's okay because that's why we're in school is to help us learn our school rules. And like I said, there's a lot of rules that we follow at home that will be the same that we follow at school. So I know that you guys are going to do great at following all of our rules at school. And remember, even if we make a mistake, it's okay as long as we try and fix it. So if you ever break a rule at school, it's okay. We'll talk about it and we'll fix whatever went wrong. So we'll learn, we'll get better, and we'll make sure that we are always trying our very, very best to follow all of our school rules. I'll see you guys later. Bye.